हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन अल्टीहाइड कीटोन्स एंड कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड पार्ट सेवन इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फी ए डॉट कॉम नो मोर फी एफ नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड सम ऑफ द मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अल्टीहाइड कीटोन्स व्हाट वी हैव डन टिल नाउ एंड वी हैव लर्न व्हाट इज अल्टीहाइड कीटोन एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू राइट द स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ अल्टीहाइड कीटोन्स हाउ टू नेम अल्टीवाइड इन कीटोन्स वेर इज कॉमन नेम और आई पी नेम नाउ विल स्टडी सम ऑफ द मेथड्स टू प्रिपेयर अल्टीहाइड कीटोन इज टोल्ड द way i have bucketed this whole chapter is aldehyde and ketone is one part and carboxylic acid is one part because aldehyde and ketone has a lot of similarity whether you talk about the chemical property physical property or method of preparations they have similar properties right so for aldehyde and ketone we can prepare by oxidation of alcohol dehydrogenation of alcohol ozonolysis of al we can also prepare from alkynes we can also prepare by heating calcium salts of carboxylic acids and we can also prepare from the greek nard agent in fact there are other ways to also to prepare uh, aldehydes and ketones but we'll focus only on these four aldehydes and ketones we'll se study separately some methods which are used specifically for aldehyde and some for ketones but these methods which i'm discussing the these six methods which i'm uh, discussing now is for both aldehydes and ketones with six the, with these six methods you can prepare both aldehydes and ketone and this, let me repeat this is my aldehyde this is my carbonyl group with the h is my aldehyde and a carbonyl group with 2 r is my ketone and this is how it looks actually if you see this is the 3d view of aldehyde and ketone if you see this is all in one plane this carboxyl we have discussed right this carboxyl group is all in one plane it's all in one So let's discuss the first method that is oxidation of alcohol. So it is oxidized by acidified K two Cr two O seven that is potassium dichromate. K two Cr two O seven. So strong oxidizing agent. You can oxidize. So if you take one degree alcohol, you get aldehyde. I'll write here first one degree alcohol. and you oxidize with the same reagent in the acidic in the acidic medium h plus you get aldehyde and if you take 2 degree alcohol and you again oxidize this you get ketone in fact we'll see there are so many oxidizing in the market for example chromic acid chromate salt dichromate salt permanganate pcc that is pyridinium chlorochromate and pdc is pyridium dichromate there are so many oxidizing agents you can use k2cr2 is one of the most common used you can use any of the oxidizing agents so i'll just take you through this example for the alcohol for example i have this alcohol ch3 CH2OH. Now, if I oxidize this in presence of my oxidizing agent, in this case, I'll take K2Cr2O7 and H plus maybe sulfuric acid. What I get is CH3COOH. This is what you get. But the the second the ketone this part I can show you if I take let's suppose. to the alcohol something like this the oh and i oxidize this if you see this is a 2 degree alcohol because this carbon is the hero carbon attached to two other carbons 2 degree alcohol when you oxidize this you get ch3 c this becomes double bond o c2h5 so if you see this becomes ketone right this is butanone Right, four carbon, butanol, and this is ethanol. This aldehyde has ketone. If you see, that's why if you took, if I took one degree alcohol, I got aldehyde. If I take two degree alcohol, I get ketone. Correct. Hope you'll remember this. One degree alcohol, aldehyde. 2 degree alcohol ketone 
it should be if you take three degree alcohol you won't get anything because there has to be a hydrogen to be removed here right if you take three degree alcohol you will not get anything so it has to be one degree or two degree so you take one degree alcohol oxidize it you get aldehyde you take two degree alcohol oxidize it you get ketone The next is dehydrogenation of alcohol. The reaction looks similar to uh, my oxidation of alcohol. Here also same similar stuff. If I have one degree alcohol and if I do a dehydrogenation that is you remove hydrogens, you get aldehydes and if you have 2 degree alcohol, you remove hydrogen, that is dehydrogenation, you get ketones. 3 degree alcohol will not work here. So here, what we do is, we take alcohol, in this case, we take, in this case, I'll take 1 degree alcohol. And then, what I'll do is, since it's 1 degree alcohol, it'll have hydrogen, alpha hydrogen. I'll heat this with a heated copper or silver at a very high temperature maybe 580 Kelvin and you'll get the alcohol and hydrogen back for example the common equation for this is you have RCH2OH this means this implies this is a, a 1 degree alcohol and you have this copper at uh, 580 Kelvin you get RCOH and hydrogen is out if you see this hydrogen this hydrogen is kicked off called dehydrogenation if you want the reaction I have CH3 CH2OH when it reacts with copper at 580 Kelvin it gives CH3 COH and hydrogen gas so if you see one hydrogen from here one hydrogen from here is kicked out and you get this aldehyde let's see the same reaction for uh, now ketones I have 2 degree alcohol again the same you heat at 580 kelvin so if you see the reaction is i have r i have ch again i have r and then i have oh so in this case if you see this is a 2 degree alcohol you again here also you heat with copper at almost 580 kelvin and 573 to be specific you get r c o r it can be r dash just to give a specific a general equation plus a hydrogen is emitted so here also this two hydrogen comes out right our typical example can be i have ch3 ch oh i have ch3 here i can take anything else also here will be ch3 same 573 kelvin this is exact but you can take any on this temperature it won't make much difference yeah, and hydrogen gases kicked out. So you can do any of these. Either you can use this copper and do a dehydrogenation, or you can use oxidizing agent to convert alcohol to aldehydes and ketones. Right? Any of these methods can be used to convert alcohols to aldehydes and ketones. The next is ozonolysis of alkenes. Please note here we do ozonolysis of alkenes not even alkenes it's alkenes so here my alkenes are oxida oxide oxidized you can oxidize this to form ozonide and then it is then reduced it is then reduced by hydrogen or zinc or acetic acid there's only ways to reduce it to form either aldehydes or ketones or ketones now whether it will form aldehydes or ketone that depends on the number of alpha hydrogen so if it has two alpha hydrogen it becomes aldehyde if it has 0 or 1 alpha hydrogen it becomes ketones I'll show some examples for this but first let's see the reaction mechanisms 
example i have r c h double bond r c r dash right let's suppose i have this compound on this first i'll use ozone correct so you have to react with ozone in presence of ccl4 so what will happen is ozone if you see is something like this right so one part has plus charge one part has negative charge the one which has negative charge will have six uh, three lone pair of electron this will have four and this will also have four now what will happen is this is a double bond it has a lot of electrons so this guy this double bond will attack on this oxygen with a positive charge and the one with the now since this bond will break this carbon will get a slightly positive charge this negative charge oxygen will attack this carbon correct so with this what you get is so what i have done is on this i have attacked uh, ozone o3 so what this you get is rch this double bond will break and you get r dash here and then you get something like this correct and this is called ozonide now on this in fact this will tautomerize actually this will tautomerize this will tautomerize to form ozonide this is not ozonide sorry It's automatized to form ozonide where oxygen will come here, will rearrange themselves. Yeah, this is my ozonide. This is my ozonide. Correct. So I have got my ozonide. Now, on this, what I'll do is. I'll reduce it with hydrogen or zinc. So with this, what you get is this becomes R C double bond O H and R dash C double bond O H. This, if you see right, what happens is this becomes double bond in O H, and this becomes double bond in O H. This goes off. Correct. It also gives water as output. So you see here, it had two alpha hydrogen, this and this. Since it has two alpha hydrogen, the output I got is aldehyde itself. I got only aldehyde as the output. Correct. So if I'll take one scenario where I have one or zero alpha hydrogen, in that case I'll get ketone also. So if I have one alpha hydrogen, then I'll get ketone and aldehyde. So I'll show you the scenario. For example, I have CH3, C, H double bond C. Here I have CH3 and I have CH3. And I'll do ozone lysis of this. So after tautomerization, what will happen? I'll get something like this. Correct. And now if I do a reduction, what will happen is I'll get this compound. This one CH3 COH right plus this compound CH3 CO CH3 correct this is my aldehyde this is my ketone correct so the only thing is if you have a hydrogen here it becomes aldehyde if you have alkyl here it becomes ketone so if both are hydrogen you get both aldehydes if one is hydrogen one is alkyl you get one aldehyde one ketone and if both are alkyl then you get both as ketone. Correct? If you instead of H you put some R, this becomes R here, and that becomes the ketone. So that is the logic. If you want, I can draw a case where I have zero alpha hydrogen. This case I can draw. So here I'll show you that. So we'll see to H5, yeah. 
we get both as ketones. So with this, what you get is correct. This is what you get. Now on this, if you add the reduction, what you get is CH3. This is one compound, this particular part, and the other is this guy. And some hydrogen gas, water actually. This is the output. You see, both are ketones. So it all depends on the number of alpha hydrogen. If you have zero alpha hydrogen, you get both ketones. One alpha hydrogen, one ketone, one aldehyde. Two alpha hydrogen, both as aldehyde. Correct. This is the method of aldehydes and ketone preparation by ozonolysis of alkenes. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.